looking at a Photoshop tutorial on face modification. I'm going to edit this portrait and um, just going to work, try and walk you through it. What I first started doing was going into Affinity Pro because um, I'm testing it out. I'm trying how it works. And what I found was that they have this inpainting brush, which is really awesome. Um, to remove blemishes, as you can see here, you can remove um, well, stray hairs, uh, dots and stuff, and um, it does it really well. I'm really stunned by how well it uh, works. So for now, I'm just using Affinity just for that. Once I'm finished, I'm going back to Photoshop and see what else I can do there. So here I have a portrait. I'm just going to crop it to a square because I like that format. And um, I'm going to start doing some dodge and burning um, on a micro level. So I'm going to do minute little changes, just get rid of little bumps and uh, highlights and shadows which are bothering me, just to make it a more even lit face, and just to get a more stylized look. So I'm just going to dodge and burn a little bit more. As you can see, um, I'm using the dodge and burn tool from the retouching toolkit by Connie Wallstrom, um, which helps me a lot because it saves me, actually just saves me time by just pushing a button, an action appears and a dodge and burn layer uh, is made. And you get used to it quite easily. You have a look at it. So I'm finishing up a bit, a bit more just finding those little cracks and um, spots in his face and everywhere else. And I'm not lo looking for a picture perfect skin or a beauty, beauty retouched skin. I'm just trying to smooth everything out just to get, um, get rid of any distractions you might see in there. So once I've got that done, um, I'm going to make a new dodge and burn layer on top of that and I'll start dodging and burning on a medium level. So I've done the micro level, now I'm going to zoom out a bit more and see what else I can change. I get rid of a few dimples around his eyes um, and stuff and that's quite easily done. The next stage is liquefying and with this I'm trying to get that more the cartoony look. So I'm making the eyes a bit bigger, I'm squashing the face a bit more just to get um, kind of that cartoon look in there just to make it a little bit more surrealistic than realistic. Next step is trying to get the uh, the eyes a bit better. I'm just using the dodge and burn again, uh, dodging more light into the eye just to get more texture in there. And to finish everything off, I'm gonna dodge and burn again on a macro level. So now I'm gonna do broad strokes, broad lighting, broad, broad darkness in there. Um, and this way you get more of a stylized look, as you can see. hair a bit darker, um, adjusting everything, contouring a bit more, adding more shading in there. And that should do it about for that for now. Maybe add some color to the eyes as you can see here. A bit of a blush to the cheek. We're also doing some um, vignetting here. And I'm not ju just making a round brush, I'm using a kind of a grittier brush for a more uh, dabbled effect, if that makes sense. And here I'm making an, uh, an off-camera lens flare, which usually you don't want in a camera, but I'm adding it. Just using a gradient map for that, just to give, it, give the image a bit more volume and depth. 